All right, guys, you're here live with MVI. Um, today we've got a 2013 Cadillac XTS. Uh, we're gonna do a nav upgrade, as you can see. Here's your basic Q um, interface. This one is the, uh, what's called IO5. What GM did is put nav here on the 13s, but when you push it, it only goes to the compass. So when we're all said and done, um, that'll actually have a map. So this will work for uh, 13 through 15 Calac XTSs that didn't come with it. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Now to save some time on video and whatnot, I have gone ahead and um, <clears throat> done some disassembly ahead of time. So I'll kind of explain what was done. I'm a fan as always of getting everything out of the way. So the first thing you want to do is get this sill panel up. It's nothing but um, snap clips all the way through. And then get this guy here out the way. And it's got two seven millimeters here and here. And then it'll drop down. There's also a light you need to unplug. A little pick right there. Get this guy out of your way. And the modules we're working with are right here. So... I will be sending in the kit, new HMI. We'll be sending you antenna parts as well, which this is my antenna lead. I'll explain that here in a second. HMI sits on this side and I will say right now, please note this guys, pay attention to how the label sits in orientated when you go back up with the HMI module. If you get it wrong, you're gonna have all kinds of tracking issues. So. This case, I can see the label is pointing out towards the outside of the car. So when you go back in, you just pay attention to where your plugs are. It's kind of hard to get them mixed up, but I've seen it. Um, it's got to go back in the proper way or you will have, will have issues. So. One by one, I'm just releasing them. Now, yours probably won't come out that easy. I did go ahead and uh, kind of release things a little bit. There's little uh, notches right here. You're gonna have a hard time seeing, but it sits on this little notch here. So you have to kind of pry out and then slide down. And as you can see, it's a tight fit, but it will go. Silver side facing in on the car. Okay. Label side facing in. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be a nice upgrade because this is the original 1.1 HMI GM released, um, which was super so slow and laggy. So the overall speed and um, performance of the Q system itself is gonna be enhanced, which I'll show you when we go back in. So It's in there, it should click in there nice and straight. And so now we'll just plug things back in. And uh, if you've got this in the wrong way, all your, you're gonna have to really fight to get these plugs to go back where they're supposed to anyway. So um, just make sure and pay attention to that when you're taking it apart. So, that was actually a good video to show you. This isn't always the funnest, and then this will all just pop back on, which I'll get here in a second. Um, 
get that back in its place here in a minute. Um, so the only port left over now is this blue GPS port, which you really can't see too well, but it's right here. So adding nav, I'm gonna give you two options, guys. The way to do this um, correctly, and like the factory does it, is to tie the GPS antenna into the OnStar circuit. Problem is the OnStar, OnStar module sits at the back of the car on the trunk deck lid. I'm gonna show you right there. So if you don't wanna go through running a cable clear to the back and into the trunk, I can supply you an antenna that would stick basically to the top portion of the glove box. So we'd have to get all of this out to access, get the glove box out, which I do have footage of that somewhere, I believe. Um, so I could get that to you, but we could stick a GPS antenna on the top side of this glove box underneath the dash pad where it's hidden. Then you don't have to run to the back. So it's really a matter of what you want to go through, either tear the glove box out or take the panels out and go to the back. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here. I can see the darn thing. Get my fingers to work again. So that's gonna plug in there. I've got a whole lot of extra slack, which I just rolled up nice. Anytime you have coax like this, you wanna roll it like this in a, in a loop. Don't, otherwise you're gonna kink it and you're gonna have a problem. And then that's just gonna tuck in there. I'll clean that up here in a second. But I've taken and followed this all the way back. You can kind of see it secured along the body harness with some zip ties. And then I'll show you where we're at with that. So again, get things out of your way. Let's see if I can get the right light here for you guys. So let's take over here. This guy will come off. Be careful, that's an airbag right there. It's only held in right there. Not fun, but if you get in from the backside or, or jerk it out like I did, get that up. And then the bottom is secured right here. Kind of sits right in here. So it is a nice snug fit. Um, but get this out of your way so you have access up here. You've got some, again, don't have to go through all this. I did, elected to. I like to get all this stuff out of my way. <clears throat> so, you know, this will go in here. Again, just snap clips, come off, pull that out. This has to come off first. Um, this sits up here around your seat belt. Again, just pops off, clips, snaps back in place. And, it is, yep, I guess this guy here sits here. So it's all gotta come off in, in pieces, but seven millimeter right there. Make sure you've got a magnet or it's gonna fall. Get that out of your way. This trim piece will pop off. You've got three Christmas tree, I call them plugs. The snap in here, lift the center out with a pick. And then this whole thing will pop out and going back in you just push them back in that allows this to lift up and that's our OnStar module guys so 20 13 14 and early 15 we'll have a single maroon connector that you can kind of see right there that's gonna have to be unplugged if you're 15 and a half There'll be a brown connector right next to it. If you have the brown, you're working with the brown connector. If you only have the one color plug, then obviously you're just working with that color plug. But you're gonna unplug the factory connector from the OnStar module right here, pull it off, and then 
I'm gonna send a splitter. So if your factory one's maroon, it's gonna plug back into the gray port of my splitter. Then the one I provide will be the color you need. So if you're working with the brown, you would have unplugged the brown, then brown goes back to the OnStar module. In this case, it's a 13, so it's just maroon. Plugs back onto the port we just unplugged from the OnStar module. Factory connector that was on the OnStar module plugs into the gray. And then blue, this is a shorter version, just plugs here. And we route it all the way up front, which I've done kind of following the harnessing. You can see all the zip ties there. So everything's out of the way of clips and snaps going back in. Follow the harness nice so nothing gets kinked all the way to the front. I highly suggest testing the system before you put things back together, which we're gonna do here right now. So that said, we're actually ready to fire this up um, and see what we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it here. We'll let the queue come to life. I'm gonna get the door opened up so we can back out, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the Jeep too, so. Go ahead and let's start it. If the no VIN thing comes up, that's normal. It has to learn your VIN. That's the way we set it up prior to shipping it out. So that's completely normal. Don't worry about that. Um, go ahead and agree to this. As you can see, we've now got a nav. I doubt it's gonna pick up here. Um, we can try it, but probably gonna have to back it out. So now we have the map. <clears throat> well, and it did pick up. That no GPS icon just went away. And it has locked on to where our current location is. So make sure before you put this car back together, you're where it can pick up signal. In this case, um, the antenna is on the back of this car. So with the garage door open and it backed up just slightly, it's it's got enough to, to come out. Um, so there's your nav, full factory nav, and you can talk to it with voice recognition here say a command or say help navigation what type of destination address intersection place of interest or contact address say the address including city and state starting with the house number if available 1331 west 121st avenue westminster colorado One three three one West One Hundred Twenty First Avenue, Westminster, Colorado. Is that correct? Yes. When it is safe to do so, look to the radio display to complete your selection. Now we'll hit go, and it'll give us guidance. And as you just saw, all this does project into the um, the route calculation is complete. Please into the speedometer to the as well. Route. So that'll give you your kind of your turn by turn as you're going down the road as well through here. Um, and then full turn by turn. As the voice is speaking to you, you can use your steering wheel controls to volume up and down when she's speaking in the directions. That will raise and lower the voice of the turn by turn and not affect your radio. If you turn it up and down with, without her speaking, you're adjusting your radio volume. Um, but from here, we could go in and, <clears throat> and listen to our radio, whatever we want to do. We've got static here, but probably should make sure we're getting got audio so we're in good shape there that's pretty much it the complete install here um, obviously you're gonna have I had about an hour of teardown prior to uh, getting started on this video so you know three hour job four hours give yourself um, to get this done if you're good you can do it much faster completed install by MVI for more questions, uh, whatever, give us a call at the uh, 800 number or shoot us a text. Appreciate you watching.